All righty, so this is one that was built out by uh, Landon and Hector on our team. Hector getting the double feature here. Um, and for the astute viewers, that QR code on the screen right now is real. So if you want to scan that, see where it goes. Uh, Freddy thought it would be fun. So in here, basically what we're doing is an automated QR code generation for CRM records via API. And there's a lot of different use cases for this. I'm going to run through the one that in this case was what we were doing. Um, but, you know, there's lots of different times that you'd want a QR code. So essentially, this is for a client that creates like large assets that might need to come back for service, updates, repairs, right? Things like that. And they wanted an easy way when one of these comes back into the shop to be able to easily scan it, have that open into the CRM record so that we could take notes, log any parts that were used, you know, check the warranty, all that stuff, right? That's all stored natively in CRM. Um, so out of the gate, what we first had to do is figure out What's a third-party platform that can easily generate these QR codes via API? Um, we landed on Rapid API mostly because it was free and they had an unlimited uh, limit, right? In terms of how many of these you can do. I think another one that the team had mentioned was like QR Monkey. You're able to do some branding and really cool things, but um, you do have to pay. So in this case, because it's just internal, it didn't really matter how they look as long as they work. So we went ahead and used Rapid API. And so then on a trigger in the CRM, we can essentially use a daily script to create what the URL for that record is, send that to Rapid API, which basically responds back with this QR code that we can then attach to the record. As any of those um, you know, assets, machines are going out the door, one of the last steps is to print and affix that QR code. So then anytime that it comes back in, super easy to just scan it. You get the full picture of the record, the full history, place to take your notes, and any work that you're doing on that particular machine. Um, so pretty straightforward implementation, honestly. The, you know, obviously you have to pick a good third party, right, that you're going to use to to create the QR code. So it doesn't do that piece for you in and of itself. Um, but once you've got that done, you know, using the code to basically send the URL there and attach the record back was uh, pretty straightforward and will hopefully save our client a lot of time, right? So they don't have to go under get the little, you know, serial number on the bottom bracket of the machine, type it into CRM, right? It just comes in, they scan it, and they're good to go. This is back-to-back -back Hector uh, <laughs> implementations of the week. I think back-to-back, -back, yeah. He joined us a few weeks ago, and here we are. Boom, boom, boom. Hector, good job. Good job, Landon. That's a nice implementation, though. I can, see that us, I can see this going for a lot of purposes, you know. Yeah, um, all different kinds. I mean, it's just nice to be able to scan and open, right, at the end of the day. Just a quick way to get to a CRM record.